Hello dear students, today we will learn the lesson, the third level from the book Vistas for your class 12 English syllabus. The author Zach Finney says about a man called Charlie who was returning from his office late at night. Charlie was a 31 year old married man. His wife was Louisa. He worked till late one night and going back home. He preferred train journey to bus because bus journey was slower. But wait, this is not the right platform where Charlie was standing for boarding the train. Actually, it was very funny that that day Charlie was not able to find out the platform. If Charlie was not waiting for the train in the platform, where was he? Actually, Charlie went to the Grand Central Station entering from Vanderbilt Avenue. He already had a concept of escape linked to Grand Central Station because he thought modern people always wanted to escape from the stress and competition and Grand Central provided the way for escaping. Several times he had lost himself in the Grand Central Station. He always found himself bumping into new doorways and new corridors. Every time he had a new experience. Once he got into a mile-long tunnel and came out in the lobby of a hotel. At another time, he came up into the building of an office. Going downstairs to go to the sideways, he felt that the stairs took a sharp left turn and he entered a narrow path that led him to the third level. At first, he did not know that it was the third level of the Grand Central Station. The third level was smaller. The ticket seller was sitting inside a wooden ticket booth. The open flame gas lights, brass spittoons, the men's beards and sideburns all belonged to the past. Women wore old-fashioned dresses and high-buttoned shoes. He walked to the newsboy. There, he glanced at the world. The lead story was about President Cleveland. Later, Charlie found out from the library files that it was printed on June 11, 1894. Charlie wanted to go to Galesburg and see the tremendous trees and frame houses. In 1894, it was a heaven of peace and tranquility. People lived a carefree life. So he asked for two tickets to Galesburg. He paid the fare in modern notes which were different from those in 1894. The clerk thought that Charlie was trying to cheat him. So he threatened to get him arrested. Charlie immediately turned around and fled as fast as he could. The next day, Charlie exchanged old style notes from a coin dealer. He got only 200 old dollars for 300 new dollars. But in spite of searching repeatedly, he could not find the corridor that led to the third level. Charlie's wife was 
worried when she heard that he had bought old style notes. Charlie's wife was worried when she heard that he had bought old style notes. Charlie turned to his stamp collections. One day among his grandfather's collection on first day covers, he discovered an envelope. The postmark was of July 18. Charlie turned to his stamp collection. One day, among his grandfather's collection of first day covers, he discovered an envelope. The postmark was of July 18, 1894. He opened the envelope, but the paper inside was a letter from Sam, the psychiatrist friend whom Charlie had often told about Galesburg. Sam instructed Charlie to continue to look for the third level and join him in the Galesburg of 1894. Later, Charlie came to know that Sam had bought $800 worth of old currency. Charlie speculated Sam would have set up hay and feed business in Galesburg. And that was what he had always wished to do. What is a first day cover? When a new stamp is issued by the postal department, the people who collect stamps buy some of them and use them to mail envelopes to themselves on the same day. The postmark proves the date. The envelope is called a first day cover. They are never opened as the envelope contains only a blank paper. Stamp collecting is a great hobby. It helps people to get information about the background of the stamps issued on the particular theme, event or person. The hobby of collecting stamp is called philately. Philately has been considered as a great hobby by the people from a long time ago. People organize, expose, seminars and exhibitions of the stamps collected by them. It helps them to pass their time in meaningful works. This is the letter written by Sam to Charlie. This letter was found among the first day covers. This letter is a proof of the successful use of time travel concept used in the story by Zach Finney. The third level can be explained from three perspectives. Literally, Third level is a third floor of the Grand Central Station, which does not exist. From the scientific aspect, it is a portal through which one can travel to the past. Here it is 1894. From the psychological point of view, the third level is the escaping route for Charlie. He wants to escape from the stress and tension of the modern day. Do you think that the third level was a medium of escape for Charlie? Why? The answer is the third level is a medium of escape for Charlie. Life in modern world is full of stress, worry, fear, insecurity, war, etc. Man has to confront them all the time. The harsh realities of life make living quite unpleasant and even unbearable. So, he wants to escape from the problems. On the other hand, the Grand Central Station was a medium of escape in the unconscious mind of Charlie. Charlie felt that it had a secret tunnel somewhere which led to a place of peace and tranquility in Galesburg. What do you infer from Sam's letter to Charlie? The answer is 
Sam's letter came to Charlie as a mystery. He found it among the first day covers of the stamp collection of his grandfather. It was started by his grandfather and he continued it. It was written in 1894. The letter was addressed to Charlie. Sam informed that he was living a peaceful life in Gilsburg. He also told Charlie and his wife to keep searching for the third level. The modern world is full of insecurity, fear, war, worry and stress. What are the ways in which we attempt to overcome them? The answer is, we can overcome the anxieties and insecurities of the modern world by getting involved in some creative and innovative works. Meditation, performing arts, visual arts, family outings, reading books, excursions and Physical exercises help us live a balanced life. Hobbies make our lives more interesting. Attending social events, listening to music, keeping pets and above all helping others make people feel happy from inside. Question number four. Do you see an intersection of time and space in the story? Answer is yes. We can see time and space intersecting. In this story, the present time shows Charlie in his present life with his wife working in New York. He enters the Grand Central Station to take a train. But his mind has already set an image of the Grand Central Station as a portal to enter the gate of another space and time. Charlie reaches the third level but he was not successful in teleportation of himself. But Sam the psychiatrist gets through and enters the Galesburg of 1894. Actually, Galesburg is the place where Charlie passed his childhood. Charlie told Sam about the peace and tranquility prevalent in this place back in 1894. Sam reached the place. His letter has the proof. Time and space intersection is successful in the story. Question number five. Apparent illogicality sometimes turns out to be a futuristic projection. Discuss. Answer. Apparent illogicality can turn out to be a futuristic projection. Yes, it is true. For example, Leonardo da Vinci drew bird machine in 1505. His bird machine dream became real with the flying planes today. The invention of telephone by Graham Bell is also an example of this. Before the invention of telephone, it might have been an illogical thinking. But it is possible nowadays. Presently, people are thinking about time travel as illogical. But... It may be real in the near future. Question number six. Philately helps keep the past alive. Discuss other ways in which this is done. What do you think of the human tendency to constantly move between the past, present and the future? And the answer is philately is stamp collecting. There are other ways to help keep the past alive 
such as reading historical books, collecting historical artifacts, visiting monuments, watching documentaries and videos related to the past. Question number seven. You have read Adventure by Giant Narlikar in Hornbill class 11. Compare the interweaving of fantasy and reality in the two stories. And the answer is The Adventure by Giant Narlikar presents the topic of fantasy by creating twist in history. The Marathas won the third battle of Panipat, which they lost in reality. Narlika makes it possible by the help of the catastrophe theory from mathematics. On the other hand, Narlika uses the quantum theory of many worlds to present many Indias and send to experience the world. In Narlika's story, the protagonist proved his visit by the help of the torn piece from the Bakhar. In Finnish story, the letter from Sam is the proof. Both the stories are based on the theory of time travel.